Okay, day 23 of my 30 days of React challenge, and today I have the refracted and deployed version of the app I did for my last video, which is the um, kind of post-it note to-do list reminder app. Um, so let's take a wee look in the last video, but I'll just do one quick refresh. So um, here's how it works. Um, you type in someone. <laughs> you type in a title, some content, choose your post-it color, um, and add the post-it to add it um, to your kind of bulletin board here. Okay, first I'm going to just quickly touch on this code before I refracted it. So this is my code from um, the last video. And um, what I noticed after I finished this project was a lot of repetitive code, like little um, areas sort of doing the same job. Like if we see this and this, and here it is again, down here, I was like, okay, I need to tidy this up and um, try and kind of make things a bit tidier. So if we jump over here, I've kind of, you can see on a new version of the code, I've pulled out um, that um, kind of for each kind of map, map function that I was doing into two separate little um, functions, which I'm then using repetitively like multiple times in other areas of my code. So here on all of our drag functions, they used to be like quite long and complicated. Now they're nice and short and you're just passing the key in and then like triggering these kind of, I called them like helper functions. Same down here. Um, down here we can see we're using it again and we're using it again here, or like one of the two um, helper functions that I've created. So that's kind of the main refractoring I did. Apart from that, just kind of, found a few little bits and pieces that didn't need to be there and got rid of them um, and just kind of reformatted how this was all um, laid out and, and written so that it was just a bit shorter and a bit neater and a little bit tidier and easier to read. Um, so that's it really for code refractoring. I would have liked to do more but um, without kind of restructuring how I'd set the app up um, from the get-go there wasn't a lot more I could do or without using libraries or introducing kind of like um, third-party technology. And the last thing to talk about this is um, deployment. So I managed to deploy it on Heroku. It was surprisingly straightforward. Like I've um, deployed apps before and there's been heaps of bugs, it's been complicated, but I think it's because they were full stack and they were written with Ruby. So maybe it's kind of a more, they're more complicated to deploy in general, but I just followed this tutorial here. Um, and yeah, it was super simple. All I had to do was make one little update to the um, JSON file, and then I deployed it kind of through the command line and through Git. Um, and it's cool with this type of deployment. If you follow this um, tutorial, um, it does auto deployment. So now every time I um, commit to my master branch in Git, it also automatically pushes those changes to. That's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.